Hello class, in this lecture, we will discuss stress distribution and soil. So what are these stresses? These can be caused by stress in soil due to self-weight and stress in soil due to the surface load. So when a load is applied to the soil surface, it increases the vertical stresses within the soil mass. The increased stresses are greatest directly under the loaded area. So let's say we have here a surface load. And here is your soil. So the stress in the soil is greatest directly under this loaded area. But this stress is extended indefinitely in all directions underneath the surface of the soil. So, foundations and structures placed on the surface of the earth will produce stresses in the soil. So, uh, if we have here a structure with a footing, so that stress is distributed at a certain distance underneath the soil. So, does it mean that uh, this area right here, which is not underneath the, the foundation being constructed to, does it mean that this area right here of soil is not affected by the stress caused by this structure? That's why here we will study uh, the stress distribution in soil. That's why uh, we could identify if uh, what is the stress being experienced by the soil at any point near the loaded area or near the surface load being applied. So let's start first in discussing and determining the stress due to a concentrated load. We have two solutions in determining the stress due to a concentrated load. The first one is through the Bosinus formula and the second one is through the Westergaard formula. The Bosinus formula for point loads is formulated by Joseph Valentin Bosinus. He was a French mathematician and physicist who made significant contributions to the theory of hydrodynamics, vibration, light, and heat. So in 1883, he solved the problem of stresses produced at any point of homogeneous, elastic, and isotropic medium as the result of a point load applied on the surface of an infinitely large half space. So here is the analysis that we can do using a Posinesk formula. So what we need here are the point load or the concentrated load then the point where we will identify the increase in stress due to that concentrated load. So if this is the point where we will determine the uh, stress, we should have the value of the depth, Z, and the radius or the nearest distance from the surface of the point load to the point where we will determine the stress stress increase. Now the equation that we are going to use in solving the stress increase due to a concentrated load using Bosinus formula is this one as you can see here on your screen. So this is the complete formula of Bosinus. Then if we factor out p over z squared, we can present, represent this whole quantity right here as i of 1 or also what we call the influence factor. So for us to, to, to have it easier to compute the, the stress increase on the soil, um, we have a predetermined uh, value of uh, influence factor depending on the value of R and Z. So we have a table right here. Uh, depending on the uh, ratio of the R and Z, we have this equivalent um, influence factor. But 
of course if we don't have this table right here um, we can use the full formula in directly solving the stress increase okay so on the other hand we have the Westergaard uh, formula for concentrated loads so here's the equivalent formula in solving the uh, stress increase due to the point load on the surface so there's a slight difference on the formula of Westergaard formula and as compared to the Bosinesk so in Westergaard solution we have P over uh, Z squared pi or pi Z squared quantity of 1 plus 2 R over Z squared then you raise it by 3 halves now uh, factoring out p over z squared so we also have an equivalent uh, influence factor for westergaard but then we have that equivalent uh, values for that influence factor but it is really recommended for us to manually compute the stress increase due to that concentrated load. we use this formula right here so our sample problems here that we're going uh, to solve is we will use the solutions, the complete solutions of Bosinesk and Westergaard formula. So let's now answer some problems. For number one, we have a concentrated load of 5 kilonewtons. We are required to calculate the vertical stress increase at Z, 0, 2 meters, 4 meters, 6 meters, and 10 meters, and 20 meters. Given x is 3 meters, and y is 4 meters. So x here, and we have y here. So we have, we don't have a value for r yet. So by using Pythagorean theorem, we can determine already the value of r. So let's start answering now. Solving for R, given we have X is 3 meters and Y 4 meters. So R is the square root of X squared and Y squared. So R is equals to the square root of 3 meters squared plus 4 meters squared. That will be 5 meters. The answer will be 5 meters for your for the value of r. So since we already have the value of r and z and we have a given uh, value of p, we can now solve the uh, stress, vertical stress increase at 0, 2, 4, 6, 10, and 20. So we will use both um, Bosinesk and Westergaard formula. So let's start first by using the Bosinesk formula. So for letter A, using Bosinesk formula. So the Bosinesk formula is 3p over 2 pi z squared multiply by 1 over 1 plus r over z squared and uh, we will raise this okay. we will raise this by 5 halves okay so we have the value of p so let's answer first at Z is at 0 meters. 3 times 5 kilonewtons over 2 pi. Z is 0. Okay, squared. Multiplied by 1 over 1 plus. R, R is 5 meters.
over z which is 0 squared 5 halves it will give us an answer of undefined because we have a denominator of 0 so it will be 0 okay so this is undefined okay for z is equals to 2 meters For two meters, substituting all the values using Bosinis formula: three five kilonewtons, two pi z squared, one all over one plus five over two squared. Then raise it to five halves. So the answer here is three times five. Okay, so if Z is equals to 2 meters, okay. this is your stress increase in kilonewtons per square meter, if Z equals to 2 meters. So, it's very small, in kilopascal, times 10 is negative 3, that's 0 point. Uh, 0, 0, 42. 42 kilopascal. Okay. That's the answer here. At Z equals to 4 meters. Okay. Z equals to 4 meters. Same solution. 2 pi. Change this by 4, then 1 over 1 plus 5 halves is to 2, is to 2 5 halves. 5 over 4. So this is Z. So, okay, let's just change this by 4. Four. Then the answer is zero point zero one four kilopascal. Okay. At Z equals to six meters. Okay. Okay, so let's just change this by 6. Okay, that's 0 0.0177. Zero kilopascal. The same applies with depth Z 10 meters and 20 meters. Okay, I will not show the solution anymore for Z equals to 10. Let's just change the value for, uh, for 
this one for the value of z z is 10 and right here this is 10 okay so 0 0.0137 0 0.137 kilo pascal then at z equals to 20 meters change just 20 meters 20 okay times 10 is to negative 3 0 point that's 0, 0, 005 0, 0, 005 1 3 kilopascal So here are the answers for Boston's uh, formula at each depth. Okay. So the stress varies depending on its depth. It doesn't necessarily mean that um, the stress increases as deeper as the depth of soil is concerned. But there is a a portion where the stress is at maximum when we have a concentrated load okay so the the value that has the greatest um, stress here is this one at depth 6 meters so it doesn't mean that um, uh, 20 meters has the greatest depth it is greatly affected by the stress so there is a certain depth that it is greatly affected by the concentrated load on the surface. But that's why we use uh, this solution to determine that stress. Now we have the second solution, which is the Westergaard formula. So using Westergaard formula, we have a general formula of, let me just write it here. Um, using Westergaard formula the general equation okay we can also write it as sigma z of equals to p over pi z squared multiplied by one plus 2 times r over z raised by 2 then raise it again by 3 halves okay or uh, if you have this same format okay let's just regroup it p over pi z squared then multiplied by 1 over 1 plus 2 r z squared this one is 3 halves Okay, so using your Westergaard formula um, for uh, Z is equals to zero meter, we, we will have an undivided value because when we substitute here in the denominator, we have a zero. Okay, zero value for uh, for Z. Okay, even if we erase it by two, we we still have a value zero as the denominator. So any value that we have a denominator of zero um, is undefined. So we, it will not give us an exact answer. So let's proceed now to Z at two meters. Okay. So substituting the value for Or P. 
PS5 kilonewtons all over pi uh, Z is 2 meters squared divided by 1 over 1 plus 2 R is 5 Z is 2 squared is 2 3 halves okay, let's solve this 5 over pi c squared c squared is 4 so the answer is 0 0.00802 okay, that's that will be your stress 802 kilopascal this is your answer at a depth of z 2 meters comparing the value that we have computed here to the bosonis formula give us a different answer okay 0 0.0042 for bosonis for western guard and 0 0.00802 so it is important on to what uh, solution that is required on a particular problem um, we should follow that uh, instruction on the problem on to what uh, solution that we are going to use it's either Westergaard or Posinus formula so for Z is at 4 meters using again the same solution P over uh, pi z is 4 squared multiplied by 1 over 1 plus 2 times 5 over 4 squared raised to 3 halves so let's just change this by 4 That's 0 0.01187, 0 0.01187 kilopascal. Okay, that's your stress right here for Z, which is 6 meters. Six meters squared over 1 over... 1 plus 2 times 5 over 2 squared raised to 3 halves. So, sigma z or the increase or the change in stress due to the concentrated load is 0 0.01197. 0 0.01197 kilopascal. Okay. And for Z equals to 10, I will not show the solution anymore. Let's just change this to 10. And our answer is 0 0.00866 0 0.00866 kilopascal and the last one for Z which is 20 meters our computed value for the stress increase is 0 0.00 Three three kilo So here are your answers for sample number one. Next one we have the second example using again the Bosonis and Restrigan solutions. Okay. So this time we have two concentrated loads. P1 350 kilonewtons and P2 470 kilonewtons. 
we are required to determine the stress increase or the vertical stress at point A, which is 2.3 meter from the surface of the concentrated load P1 and 1.1 meter from the surface of the concentrated load 470 kN. The depth Z is 2.5 meters. So this time we have two vertical loads being applied on the surface. We are required to determine the stress being experienced by point A. So since we have a two vertical load, so uh, to determine the stress at point A, the total stress at point A, so we only have to add the stresses being um, contributed or applied due to the uh, load P1 and load P2. So we will just add up the computed stress distributed due to that concentrated load on each uh, load, C1 and Z2. So using Bosinesk, separately we compute the, the stress increase or the vertical stress due to these uh, loads. So using Bosinesk, Bosinesk uh, equation, we have here uh, sigma Z1 first for load P1. 3p over 2 pi z squared multiplied by 1 over um, 1 plus r over z squared raised to 5 halves. Okay. So that's 3. p1 is 350 kilonewtons over pi. Our z is 2.5 meters squared. So this is in two-dimensional. So it means our r, say r1, is 2.3 meters. That's the shortest distance along the surface from point A to the concentrated load P1. So multiplying 1 over 1 plus the r, which is 2.3 meters z is 2.5 raised to 2 then we raise it to 5 halves our value for stress increase is uh, 3 times 350 over 2 i z squared multiplied 1 over 2. Okay. So that's our solution. Okay, let's just review. Values 1 over 1 plus 2.3 over 2.5 squared raised to 5 halves. That's in kilopascal 5.77772 if three decimal places. Kilopascal. Okay. For load 2, 470. Okay. 3p2, 2 pi z squared. Okay, this is r1. 1 over 1 plus r2 z squared raised to uh, 5 halves. Okay. So, p2 for 70, right? This one is R2 or 70 kilonewtons over 2 pi 
z still the same 2.5 and square it multiplied by 1 over 1 plus r2 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1 meters over z 2.5 then raise this to 2 then raise it again by 5 halves so sigma z2 is equals 2 let's just change this one 470 and r2 1.1 .1. the rest are the same 23.0688 kilopascal okay for the total stress being experienced by at point a just add the two stresses okay at point a uh, z1 z2 or 5.772 kilopascal plus 23.068 kilopascal that's your total okay. twenty eight point eighty four eighty four kilopascal that's your answer for this one using Bosinesque equation now let's try the Western Garden Okay. Mm. For the Western Guard, the formula is P over pi z squared multiplied by 1 over uh, 1 plus one plus 2 times r over z squared, then we raise all this by 3 halves. Okay. For P1, R1. So P1 is 350. This in the figure, 350 kilonewtons over pi. Z is 2.5 squared. Then multiply 1 all over 1 plus 2 so r1 is 2.3 over 2.5 place it by 2 then raise it 5 halves and close parenthesis okay the solution now and the answer 350 over pi z squared multiply by 1 over 1 plus 2 2.3 2 2.5 squared then plus 2 3 half sorry this is 3 half this is 3 half okay Okay, four point uh, zero three three nine zero three three or zero three four three decimal places. Okay, okay, very different answer as compared to the Bosonesk. Okay. It's 5.7. This is 4.034 only. Okay, that's the second one. P2 over pi z squared. Then multiply 1 over 1 plus 2 r2 over z squared. Then raise it to 3 halves. Okay, the P2 is 470. 470 kilonewtons over pi the z 
nearest distance 1.1 uh, the depth is 2.5 2.5 squared 1 over 1 plus 2 times 2.1 uh, 1.1 over 2.5 okay squared then raise it to 3 halves and close it okay check the solution right here uh, this is 470 over pi z squared multiplied by 1 all over 1 plus 2 times 1.1 over 2.5 raised to 2 and close it then raise to 3 halves and that's it 14 okay 47 okay just checking it And yes, only 14.65, 14.651 kilopascal. Okay, so computing the total, computing the total value of the strength, stress increase at point A, just add the two. 4.034 and 14.651. So Z is of A equals to 14.651 plus 4.034. It is only 18. 18. Point six eight five. Okay, right. it's really great difference in using the two solutions. Okay, so that's it. That ends our lecture for uh, Bosinus and Westergaard formula in solving the stresses due to a concentrated load.